When it comes to pricing, there are several different approaches. One of them is the rather straightforward, but actually quite complex in terms of human psychology, consumer-based pricing. Simply, how much is someone prepared to pay? We'll talk further about that in the context of luxury goods and whatnot, uh, because there are some really interesting opportunities to actually make quite a, lot, quite a lot of money if you can offer a very strong emotional proposition, psychological or aesthetic proposition, to consumers. For a large proportion of businesses in competitive markets, effectively you're going to have a competition-based pricing model. Effectively, your capacity to put your prices up is heavily constrained by the competition you face from other companies that offer close substitutes. Um, Meiji, for example, makes a whole range of milk products, as we know. There are a lot of competitors to Meiji. What that means is that um, although they may develop a whole range of new products and briefly be able to charge a premium, they can't go too premium, too far, for too long because simply their competitors are likely to engage in imitative behavior, bring similar products in, and very quickly you will get what we call price erosion, that there's actually going to be competition uh, around similar products. And effectively, this has led to what's often been referred to in Japanese, although in, in Japanese um, business, although in English, as the uh, price down, cost down effect. That effectively, when you've got a lot of competition, you put something new in the market, uh, but very quickly you get price erosion. And that means that the only way you can actually make money uh, longer term is to stay close to your competitors in terms of price and try and get an advantage in terms of cost. It's a tough way to do business because it means you have to be constantly focused on your cost structure. You cannot let your costs run away. That, of course, helps to explain why they stack their little mini trucks on top of each other. Land is a premium. They don't uh, have the capacity. Um, they don't have the capacity. Uh, to be lavish in terms of having a nice, big, expansive car park. They have to watch their margins. They have to uh, make sure they're competitive because they simply don't have that much latitude in terms of their pricing in the market.